What is the difference between speed and velocity? Well, we know that speed tells us how fast something goes. But velocity, velocity is speed in a certain direction. In a certain direction. And so velocity gives us a little bit more information than speed. It tells us how fast the object is traveling, but in a certain direction. So let's say that we were looking down at a road from above, and the road kind of does that, winds as a hairpin bend. Okay, and we've got a, a car, let's say the car's traveling sort of like that, going that, looking down at it. Let's say it's got a speed of 20 meters per second. And if we are interested in its velocity, uh, let's say we're interested in the velocity in that direction. So we're going to call that way as positive velocity. Okay, so we can say, okay, well, the velocity here of this, of this uh, car is also 20 meters per second because it's going in that direction. Now, what happens if the car goes around the corner? Well, because it's changing direction, its velocity will also be changing. But its speed, if it's going at a constant speed, its speed will be the same. So let's say it's now going sort of due south. If we're looking, if that's north up here, and there we go, never eat shredded wheat. There we go, due south. At this point here, the car is going due south and its speed is 20 meters per second. It's going at a constant speed, but its velocity is no longer going in that direction. In fact, it's going at right angles. So its velocity is zero meters per second. It's going in completely the other direction at 90 degrees. So, okay, what happens if the car continues around the corner and now is going back on itself? So the speed is still 20 meters per second. But now we're going in the opposite direction to where, as we started. Now the opposite direction to positive must be negative. So the velocity here will be minus 20 meters per second velocity. So how can we have a real life example where the speed of an object is constant, but its velocity is always changing? Well, you might have guessed that it's something similar to this, where the direction is changing and the direction is always changing. So how could we do that? Well, how about a, I don't know, a bicycle on a velodrome, a circular velodrome uh, or something like that? circular track. Oh, yeah, sort of circular. And uh, or it could be a car or any kind of uh, any kind of thing going around in a circle. It's going around at a constantly changing direction. So its speed at this point may be 20 meters per second. But it is constantly changing direction. And because it's constantly changing direction, its velocity will be constantly changing. So let's say that we've defined upwards as being positive velocity. So here our velocity would be 20 meters per second as well. But when it goes to the other side and it's traveling due south, now that's the opposite direction to our definition. So this will be now at a, at a, a speed of 20 meters per second, but at a velocity of minus 20 meters per second. And as it continues to go around, the velocity will continue to change from between 20 and minus 20, sort of oscillating between the two. So that's how we can get a situation where velocity is constantly changing, but speed stays the same. It's when something goes around in a circle. See you in the next flashcard.